as the series goes on, we see, we get to like peel the layers back and see like sort of the vulnerability and maybe how some of that confidence and coolness is like a facade and, and um, we get to sort of see that like more humanity from her. Um, but it was, it was a, um, a joy and a challenge to play her. How does this series stand out from the uh, film itself? I, you know, there are tons of similarities. There are tons of differences. I like to think that we like kissed the movie and then opened it like up. Broke it open. Yeah. yeah. We, we yeah. said, thank you for your, you know, service. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for everything you've given us. And now we're going to, we're going to like widen the lens and really get to explore more stories and, and sort of like the real, the real stuff that was going on that we didn't get to see in the movie. Absolutely. And Darcy, I wanted to ask you this for your character, uh, Greta, she's kind of a leader in the sense that she's more of an emotional leader, whether uh, more so than an on the field leader like Carson is. So what would you say is the best thing about playing Greta? I really, you know, I like, I really admire Greta. I think, I think she's cool. (laughs) I think she's like, there's a lot, there's a lot about her that I like, is like sort of inspirational, aspirational. Like I'm like, I want to be her. Like her yeah, <laughs> She's yeah. just cool. And, and um, you know, as the series goes on, we see, we get to like peel the layers back and see like sort of the vulnerability and maybe how some of that confidence and coolness is like a facade. And, and um, we get to sort of see that like more humanity from her. Um, but it was, it was a, um, a joy and a challenge to play her. It wasn't, it didn't come as easily to me as, you know, other roles I've played before. Like this was, I was kind of scared of her, which is why I think I wanted to do, do this so much. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, but I love her. I love her and I miss her. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Melanie, I want to ask you this for your character, Joe, she has a confidence on and off the field, which I really like. Um, so what would you say is the best thing about playing Joe? You know, God, I love Joe so much. I really (laughs) love her so much. And I miss her. Something we actually haven't talked about, which, which is very much aligned with sort of my values is like being in this body and playing a professional athlete who's confident and good. Mm -hmm. Joe afforded me that opportunity. And it's very, it's very empowering to, to stand in her newfound power. Um, you know, she doesn't necessarily start there, but you put her on a field and she knows she's the best. And that to me was just so, so exciting to inhabit. Um, and particularly to do it in my body felt very, um, it just felt, it it brought a lot to my life, to my personal life. Amazing. Absolutely. And the last question for me before I let you guys go is, um, in one of the first scenes in the first episode, we both, uh, see, um, you guys with Carson played by Abby Jacobson. So how is it work? How is it working with Abby who is not only starring, but also created the series? I mean, it, it was a joy. Yeah, she's we best. love Abby. You know, we, we, I think that especially, yeah. In that first episode, Melanie, and, spent a yeah, time we spent a ton of time together and it, and it really, you know, we were discovering our characters with each other and what our relationships were and working together for the first time as actors or yeah. at least we were and yeah i mean abby we 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 love her she's 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 um, a great boss she's a great actress we were incredibly supportive of each other like i remember being on set for some of the like more difficult scenes and like just kind of like sticking around and lifting each other up and making sure we were taken care of like i loved the dynamic between the three of us and i loved the times that we got me too to be together me too. I enjoyed it as well. Well, Darcy, Melanie, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the show and continued success to you. Roberta, Priscilla, Kelly, how are you? Great. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. But uh, I want to ask you guys this first. Uh, obviously, A League of Their Own comes out on Prime Video August 12th. It's an adaptation to the hit 1992 film. So what would you say would be the biggest difference between the series and the movie? I think then the movie... Diversity. 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 Yeah, I, I think the movie opened up the possibility to even tell the story of of these women baseball players. Mm. Uh, and and I think what the show is doing is just expanding the kind of stories about about the people that were alive in 1943 and around this uh, this league. 
Absolutely. And this question is for all three of you. Um, how much did you know about baseball and specifically the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League before taking on the roles of Lupe, Esty, and uh, Jess, respectively? Um, well, I played baseball and some sports growing up. Ath um, athleticism was a huge part of my life. So, uh, you know, I knew the film and, and, and being, yeah, being, being, being able to play an athlete was like a, a is, a, is a big deal for me and, and something I really take seriously. Uh, but yeah, that baseball, you know, Canada, I'm from Canada. Canada has a different relationship with the, you know, American pastime. We're all about hockey, uh, but, uh, you know, everyone plays baseball. So it's like, it is that sport that sort of is owned by everyone, is loved by everyone. Um, and so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm from Spain, so I'm, I'm more of a soccer girl, Real Madrid, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't have that much, um, you know, contact with baseball, but I really learned it so fast and I, I, I loved it. One of the other questions I want to ask you is, oh, what is the best thing about playing your characters and what qualities do they have that you would like to have in real life? Ooh, <laughs> um, I think the best part of playing the character for me is that we got to we each got to build the characters. And so for me, it was one of the questions that Abby and Will had asked early on was and Desta was like, who's what are the characteristics of, that you'd like to play you know and I was just thinking of some of the you know things that I haven't gotten to do yet in my career and playing this kind of complicated person that has this specific relationship to um identity uh it was really fun for me and and like cool and just it was freeing and and challenging in a lot of ways mm. yeah <laughs> I think I'd probably like to, what, what did I like? I liked, I liked that Jess was, didn't say much and smoked constantly. <laughs> Sounds like a fun pastime. <laughs> I'm just joked to do that more often. I'm just kidding. Don't talk. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like someone who Anytime. just is a straight shooter and, you right. know, only talks when they have to. Maybe I took away a little bit of that. I don't know. Probably not. I talked to him. <laughs> I had the chance of working the Cuban accent, something that mm -hmm. I, I wasn't very, well, I was familiar because my, my grandfather is Cuban, but, but yeah, that was very challenging and very fun to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the last question for me before I let you go is, um, what would you say would be the best thing about filming the series? Is it the fact that you get to um, just tell deeper stories than what you saw in the 1992 film is the fact that you get to play baseball. Um, what were some of the things that you liked about filming the series? The best thing I would say. Hey. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, but it's true. The relationships are, are yeah. uh, hopefully like just, uh, you know, just come with the, I mean, you can see them in the show, I think. Right. And, and I think that the relationships were just as important as like the stories that we were, that we were privileged enough to be able to tell. Um, mm -hmm. and which yeah. is ultimately what the, the league was just like a bunch of relationships, yeah. different new kinds of relationships for these women. And, and we get to expand that. Those you know? women really found, found a, a home yeah. when, when yeah. they got into the league yeah. and that was like Narnia for them. It was, <laughs> it was, it was the, a whole place where they, 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 they really felt safe and yeah. in their place. And that's amazing. And that, that's how we felt too. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Well, Roberta, Priscilla, Kelly, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the show and thank continued you. success to you. A League of Their Own comes out on Prime Video August 12th uh, based on the 1992 film. Um, were you fans of the film and what would you consider the biggest difference between the, ser uh, the series and the movie? Was a fan of the film uh like like everyone um biggest difference i think is that we are taking the spirit the original sort of spunk and spirit of the film and expanding and going a little bit deeper into who those characters really were um which <laughs> saida can speak to because there are black people in it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are black people in it. There are Latin people in it. There are queer people in it. And we get to learn about them and their lives and their communities. Yeah. Well, Saeed, I don't want to ask you this. And speaking of, you know, different races in this film, your character, Tony, is uh, Max's mother. Uh, Max is obviously, obviously one of the main characters. She wants to play baseball. Tony has no interest in her playing baseball. And she's one of the leaders of the black community, uh, you know, in that city. So 
Um, how fun was it to play that character that's strong and confident and kind of a leader and at the same time had this conflict with her daughter? Well, you know, um, Tony's a little opposite of me. I'm not as strong. No, I'm just playing with you. Yes, <laughs> it was wonderful. And I've played mothers before. But the thing is, um, I never played a mom who had to deal with this situation of her child finding a way to communicate with her child. This is what I want you to do for your future. This is what I've set up for you. This is the way that I know that you can be protected in this racist and sexist uh, society. And the child says, no, this is what I'm going to do. Right. So letting, learning how to let your child go and how to let them be themselves. That was the most compelling part for me. So and it's hard. I'm not a mom, but man, that's hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, uh, for Molly, uh, you play Maybell. And one of the things that stood out with, to me with her is she kind of reminds me of All the Way May play my Madonna in the 1992 film. Um, does she remind you of her when you were portraying that character? Um, a bit, but Maybell, my Maybell is based on uh, Maybell Blair, um, one of the original um, baseball playing gals who is now 95. You may see her about town with her bedazzled <laughs> shades, Louisville slugger cane, hair, nails. She's a force um, and is incredibly spunky and sassy. So I was trying to just inhabit some of that spunk and sass. Absolutely. And the last question for me is, um, this is a great show. I got a chance to check it out. But why should viewers check out this series of A League of Their Own? Well, because it's funny. Mm -hmm. You get to see a lot of women being funny. You get to see an expansion of what life was like for people of color in 1943 and the queer community. You get a fuller, more enhanced version of actual life during that time period. Yeah. And you can learn something. And don't you want to see people in amazing 40s clothes? Yes. Making out? Don't you want to see that? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Come on. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Molly, Sayeda, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, good luck to everything and continued success to you guys. Well, I wanted to ask you this. Um, I know the process of getting uh, a league of their own, um, the series going, uh, had to be a long process. So yeah. how does it feel that viewers finally get to uh, see what you've worked so hard on um, on August 12th on Prime Video? Uh, it is so crazy. And um, this is a show that is really personal to me, but also to every single person who worked on it, especially mm -hmm. Abby and Dessa, or the sort of like the the trio, Haley, our um, other executive producer, Jamie Babbitt, who directed the pilot. I think for all of us, um, it's much more than a show. Uh, it's really been a life-changing experience. And, um, you know, we just hope that it means something to um, people and... Maybe it gives people a little joy, gives them a little break from whatever's going on in their life right now and lets them come back to that with with something new. Absolutely. And Dustin, I want to ask you this. Uh, you worked on, uh, you've been a producer and a writer on TV shows in the past, such as Shooter and The Purge. So oh what, what the made Purge you- The Purge call out. That was my bad. <laughs> Thanks for those. Continue on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, what made you want to be part of this project? I mean, I'm a black queer woman. This is like the League of the Own was my favorite movie as a kid. Like I, I, yeah. I couldn't not be. Will didn't have a choice. Yeah. Um, and I think just speaking to those credits that you rolled out of my resume, you don't always get to work on the show that's like a perfect fit for you. Um, you don't always get to see yourself reflected on screen. So to be in the sort of kismet and and very privileged and special place where you are getting to tell stories that reflect your experience that are true and authentic to history and, and matter um, is just really rare and really sp um, special. And I just feel sort of incredibly privileged and honored to be a, a part of this. Yeah, so I was a big fan of the film in 1992, but what I like about the series, it, it takes a deeper dive into race, relationships, the consequences of war, and along with telling the story of the all Americans girl, Girls Professional Baseball League. So how important was it to touch on these topics as well as tell us the story of the Baseball League? Well, I think that's the opportunity of a series. And I think our opportunity at sort of stepping into the show now, it's like 
all those things weren't things I feel like that we added to the show, like that we added to the story. They are the story, yeah. right? They, mm-hmm. That is the real story. And we got to step deeper into this world and these people at a time like where, where we have the war at the time where like there's so much great baseball that includes black baseball, that includes black female baseball, because right the same, you know, it's a two hander show where we've got Abby Carson and the Peaches. And then you also have Max and sort of all of Black Rockford and Max trying to look for her shot. So uh, I think just being able to step deeper into this world. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's a it's a huge story that is really about a generation and it's fun and is an adventure that's also touching on a lot of real things about our society that are that are still true. But I think a big thing we were conscious of, and this comes from the movie, is not making the obstacles the story. Right. Like, yeah, there is sexism, there's homophobia, there's racism. But this is a story about people who they had to do a lot, but they got to do the thing that they wanted to do and find their dream and touch real joy. And I think that's a story that we all need right now. You're absolutely right. And the last question for me before I let you guys go is I know there isn't any news on season two because the first season hasn't uh, begun streaming yet. But if the show does get another season, do you have an idea of what direction the show will go? Yeah, actually, we're in the middle of working on the story for season two right now. But I think the problem from the start, it's a good problem with this show has been the moment that we started to look into these stories. It was just clear how much Mm. there was so we have uh, enough story for a lot of um seasons of the show and i think the show is going to go someplace that places that really surprise people but also entertain them and hopefully satisfy them too yeah i think more more emotion more depth more awesome baseball and more comedy more comedy and sort of surprising twists and turns Forward to that. Well, well, Desta, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Again, congratulations on the show and continued success to you. 